Here, final two wheel drive. So Galley leads away from Paul. Greg Williams going round the outside. Jack Neal not going to make it six. So it is one, two, and three over bumps for the first time. Looks like Gemmo's lost the spot to the seven car of Mark Smith over that regulation order for the front six or seven. So Eugene Galley and Jack Neal driving away from the rostrum. This is the final race of today, a very successful Bradford Cup. So thank you everyone for participating and coming along. It's been a great day and great weather and great support from the club. Excellent job by all the club guys putting this on and the canteen today. But more importantly, back to the racing. Eugene Galley, Jack Neal, Greg Williams, or oh, Ben Smith going to go for a tumble. So Mark Smith going to go up to a full spot. It's going to make it a free horse race for the lead. And that is Galley, Neil and Williams, Schumacher, Schumacher and Schumacher all down the straight together. And it's Galley leading out from three tenths to the second, then a further four tenths back to Greg Williams. And Greg, very nice through that section, closing up another tenth on Jack Neil. So Galley, half a second is your lead. Last time round, he put in the quickest lap. But Greg Williams is supreme through the second half of this track. Not so good coming onto the straight. Oh, he's made a little error. So that's going to give Jack Neal a little bit of breathing space. No longer needs him to look in his mirrors. He can look forward at Eugene Galley and can he do anything about it? Last time by, he loses another attempt to Galley. So Galley's very, very slightly pulling away. But a tenth of the second, just one little slide, hit a pipe, and you are done at this rate. So coming around the first bank and they go, they're going to drive infield around the 180 and then down the straight they go. Galley leading about three, four metres in front of Jack Neal down the straight and Galley uh, nipping in tight on the corners but Jack Neal good there, point six is the gap and Jack Neal throws right up onto the gearbox to Galley. Galley runs slightly wide so Jack Neal is right there. Greg Williams drop back ever so slightly in third, so it is a two horse race out front. Galley into the banking, there goes Neil down the straight, two three metres in it once again into turn one. Jack Neil looking to get up the inside, not going to make it stick too far back at the bit. We're at 240 down, at 240 to go, 220 down, quarter second, Galley's over, lands on his roof, so that's going to give Jack Neil a two or three second break, it's two and a half seconds. So Jack Neal, you have a two and a half second lead now over Eugene Galley, who's got Greg Williams for company. So Jack Neal at the end of the straight now, full straight length ahead of Eugene Galley, who's got Greg Williams for company. So Jack Neal, he's over, lands on his wheels, going to get away with it, but that's now a free horse race with Ben Smith not far behind. Just half a second separating the front three. Ben Smith, you're seven tenths behind that. Williams up into the two spot. So we've got Neil, Williams, Galley and Smith. Schumacher, Schumacher, Schumacher and Schumacher. Something tells me that that's a popular car around these parts. So we've got Jack Neil, Greg Williams, Eugene Galley or Ben Smith tapping away. Uh, Eugene Galley going to come off worse, not helping himself there. Eugene Galley going to crash all by himself. So back to the two horse race. And that is Jack Neil and Greg Williams driving away from Rostrum. 1.36 remaining. 1 minute and 36 seconds remaining for these two guys. So Jack Neal leading Greg Williams. Greg Williams just hit a pipe and had to do a slow 360. So Jack Neal, your lead now 2.2 seconds. And then there's just half a second between Greg, Eugene and Ben Smith. But it's all about our race leader with one minute to go. Coming down the straight now, Jack Neal in turn one. Last time by a 26-1, best lap 25-9. He's got the quickest lap. No, Gemma's got the quickest lap out there. So Jemison is the quickest car on the track. But Jack Neal is leading and him and Greg Williams do identical lap times last time by. So Neil and Williams running around at the same pace, 39 seconds to go. It's probably going to take an error from the Neil car. So straight length is his lead in turn one. He's in front of Holzer. So Jack Neil coming through the quick chicane and 24 seconds on the clock. You are starting your final lap now, guys. This is your final lap. You'll be racing to the line. So it's Jack Neal, but it's a bit of a gap to Williams, Galley and Ben Smith over. So it's now a two-horse race for third. 
Jack Neal's just got to keep it rubber side down. He's got straight length and four corners to go. There goes through turn one, nicely done, coming into turn two. And he's going to bring it home. Jack Neal, your 2018 Bradbury Cup champion. Greg Williams going to finish in second, and Eugene Galley in third. Finished. 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 Finished.
Tom gets caught up with a back marker. He's used to that slightly. So we're both first and second on straight together now. See what the gap is going to get to the loop. Probably about half a second now. 0.7 of a second. Please be aware from the centre of the track. You've got the leader coming up on you in a few seconds. Although this is looking like the last lap now. Nine to oh, that's that's going to hit the Mr. Crockle by 0.2 of a second. <laughs> B final two wheel drive. So Ollie Brooks leads from one. Phil Brooks starts second and Matt Dunning third. And you guys are racing for a, a final position. But it is Phil Brooks and Connor Cocker crossing the line first. Good start from Riley, seven up to four spot. So, disaster for our leaders on that one, one and two, because it is the, uh, sorry, car one, because it's the two car that led last, uh, as we crossed the line. And Connor Cocker looking racy in the all white number five. So, let's see where they all are as they cross the line to put two laps on the board. It is Phil Brooks in the two, Connor Cocker in the five, Lee Fraser in the eight, Isaac McFadden in the twelve, and Ben Riley, Edward Callum, Cash Khan, Nick Gunnell. Matt Dunning, Ollie Vaughan, Chris Foster and Mark Graham. So guys at the back of the grid get better start. Oh, no. oh someone's crashed on the banking, so that's going to promote a couple of guys. And it looks like it's promoted Isaac McFadden to the two. Oh, I don't know who that is. He took Ben out, but that was nasty. Oh, caution on the straight. Carnage. So Ben Riley definitely coming off worse there. But Connor Cocker and Isaac McFadden, you have a four second lead now. So as in the fighting, you have a four second buffer to Phil Brooks running in the three spot. And it is that all important two spot to the A final that matters. And we've not had a double bumper yet. Eisenhower's fighting looks like he could be the first one. But I'm not going to lie, that front left wheel looks a little loose. Going into positive camber. So Eisenhower's fighting crosses the line. Running in second. Phil Brooks, you have four seconds behind in third. Cash can't. So Connor Cocker leads from Isaac McFadden. 5, 12, 2, 9, 1, 10, 7, 3, 8, Bill Brooks running in second, closing that gap to 3.7 now. So Isaac McFadden, your gap is 3.7 down to the third spot. And you need to keep that all-important second spot if you want to bump up to the A final. So race leader Connor Cocker in the five car. Look racy from lap one, crosses the line. He's looking good. Here comes Isaac McFadden in the two spot. Going down the straight, that's kind of cross car five. You've now got about one and a half minutes left, followed still by car 12, Isaac. He's going to put your race control. Uh, two in the bump box for the eight.
Race on and after four minutes, five, twelve, two, one, eight, nine, ten, four, three, six, seven, eleven, leader on left nine. Right, so you've got third second left drivers, we've still got car five. Connor Cock in the lead, currently four seconds in front of Isaac. final four wheel drive so Ricky Lee leads away from Paul from Ethan Chapel and Leo Morell Leo Morell getting it wrong already but going to get by eyes on his roof that's going to be costly Ricky Lee Jim Dixon your one and two looks like Ethan Chapel is down to third So what have we got? It's Ricky Lee, uh, he led away from pole, all white car still leading. And looks like Jim Dixon's dropped the spot, so Ethan Chappell going to go back up to the two spot. Can't see what's happening behind him though. So I'll catch them as they cross the line, and it is going to be Ricky Lee crossing the line. Followed by Ethan Chappell, James Dixon, Jack Hurst, Tyler Little, Lee Houston, Mark Anthony Jones, Freddie Russell, Alex Cullen, Lee Morrell, Matt Thompson and William Callum is your full in order it's a five minute race and the pack is bunched up so anything can happen in this one ricky lee looking to get a slight breakaway at the front but there is a one two three four five six seven car break train straight 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 and it's clear oh the second place has an error getting into the bubble gets away with it jim dixon not quite close enough to make amends of that one so driving towards the rostrum it's Chapel, Dixon and Hurst that we're looking at for his bump up position. Hurst dropped back ever so slightly. So it's going to be Chapel and Dixon in turn one and they're closing on your leader Ricky Lee this time round. So it's Lee, Chapel, Dixon, Lee's over, he's on his roof. One, two, three, four, five cars going to go by. So it's going to be fifth spot for Ricky Lee now. Dixon rolls it to Ethan Chapel. break for you. It was half a second, it looks more like a second and a half now. Oh, Ricky Lee throwing this one away, first to seventh already. So where are we, race leader coming into the tricky double now, double hump I'll call it, driving towards the race control and crossing the line. So Chapel goes by, 1.5 is your lead. But more importantly, Jim Dixon, you have 2.3 second lead over Tyler Little. And that 2.3 seconds is the bump up position. So 2.3 seconds separating your bump up drivers here. So race leader is going to cross the line now. We've got Chapel and Dixon. And Tyler Little is 2.5 behind now. Gap is increasing. So running round in first and second. Ethan Chapel and James Dixon into third one they go. And we're going to hang a right and a left over the double they go. And coming towards race control. Jim Dixon looks racy behind, but he knows any problem on his over. Jim Dixon knows that second will do if he wants to bump up in this one. Race leader having a little bit of an error. So Tyler Little, 2.8 behind last time by. Not quite closing in on that as much as he'd hoped. So down the straight go your race leaders. Two and five car running one and two. And the best lap out there is a 26-1 from Ethan Chappell, who's definitely got pace in the car. 
Jim Dixon just hits the corner and Tyler William Little is closing. 1.3 seconds is now the gap. So small error from Jim. That's allowed Ethan to break slightly and Tyler to close up. But it's not going to be enough. So full ring order is Chapel Dixon, Little, Jones, Houston, Morell, Lee, Callum, Thompson, Callum and Russell with Jack Hurst no longer running. So what have we got? It is your race leader coming towards the rostrum now, uh, away from the rostrum. And it's Ethan Chapel 1.9 in front of James Dixon and Tyler Little has fallen off the boil a bit. 3.2 now behind Jim with one minute to go guys, one minute to go. Two, five, six, seven, three, four, 12, 11, 8, 7, 9, Lee, on lap nine. So Ethan Chappell leads James Dixon by two seconds. Tyler William Little is three seconds behind that with 32 to go. So race leader is on the straightaway. Second place is there now. Oh, Jim Dixon getting away lightly there, going under a crashing car. So Jim Dixon crosses the line. Now you guys are starting your final lap. So William Little, you need to find 2.7 seconds. Jim Dixon, you have a 2.7 second cushion on this final lap if you want to bump up to the A final. So this is fighting for an A final spot. And you are now racing to the line guys. Race leader Ethan Chappell going to come across the line now. And he's going to be followed home by Jim Dixon. Oh, Jim crashes on the line. Where's the marshal? Go, 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 go. He gets across the line. Risking it for a biscuit. C final, two wheel drive. So off and away we go. Crawford leads away from pole from Hicking, Sinclair, Baddian. Oh, it looks like we've got a broken car on the street already. That's unfortunate. Leon, good news. Caitlin went well with enough for a ski trip. So Paul Crawford leading this one from Isaac up Paddy. So let's try and pick up our race leaders. So all change on that one and Edward Callan going to take up the lead from Laura Hickling and this one is a close battle for bump up, four of them on the straight together. So it is Edward Callan, Laura Hickling, Paul Crawford and Isaac Rusbadian is your top four. So Edward Callan goes by, his lead is 1.1 and then it is 1.5 back to a four car fraction. Oh Hickling's over, going to lose a spot, just one. So Paul Crawford going to go up to the two spot. So here is a five car battle down the straightaway and that is for Bump Up guys. So Paul Crawford leading this one for Bump Up, he is running in second. So 11 car be aware, you've got three quick cars behind you, 11 car when they get there, three of them. Thank you very much, excellent driving my friend. So Edward Callan, your race leader, down the straight he goes, he's got it nice and comfortable this one, Paul Crawford less so, hickling right on the gearbox, going down the straight, and they're both slowly, closely followed by Isaac McFadden, three cars battling for a single bump up spot here with 2.30 to go, you're at half race distance, so cross line hickling ground the outside, makes it stick into the ball, what a manoeuvre, and Isaac McFadden pulls his way through, Crawford jumps back over, not going to make that one stick.
So battle for bump up down the straight. It's Hicklin, McFadden, and Crawford now. All change on this lap. So Hicklin going to come across the line with 157 left on the clock. So it is Hicklin, McFadden, and Crawford. One and a half seconds separating the three. Looks like Hicklin's pulling away ever so slightly. But any mistake's going to be painful here with one minute and 40 to go. 140 to go. Great leaders around the end of the straight. Second place. It's the third one now, third follows, fourth follows, so two, three and four, all running around together on the track. We're going to come across the line now to put seven laps on the board. Three quarters of a second is Hicking's lead from McFadden and then Crawford the second behind that. So Isaac McFadden is closing. Last time round he was six tenths, qu three tenths quicker. So coming on to the straightaway they go, down the straight, Crawford just dropping off his saddle. That makes it easier for McFadden because it is just a two horse battle down the inside. Makes it stick, Hicklin leaves the door open, comes back at him, not going to make it stick into there. So with one minute exactly on the race clock, it's now McFadden from Hicklin. Oh, McFadden gets it wrong, they bang wheels, going to get away with it. So driving towards the roster of McFadden in the yellow car, Hicklin in the orange car. Who's it going to be? 47 seconds to go. Coming on to the straight they go, down the straight, you guys are battling for bump up. McFadden runs wide, Hicklin looking at the inside, not going to make it stick there. So we're going to come across the line with 33 seconds to go. It's going to be this lap and one more, this lap and one more for McFadden and Hickling. Driving away from Rostrum, going to go double left-hander, drive towards the Rostrum. Yellow and blue car on the straight, race leader behind you, yellow and blue car on the straight. Thank you very much, excellent driving. So bump up down the straight now, orange and blue car in turn one, two quick cars behind you, be aware. One and two, thank you very much. So McFadden and oh, Hickland's over. Four seconds on the master clock, three, two, gonna get through, racing to the line. But McFadden's got a break there of three and a half seconds, and Hickland's over again. All McFadden's gotta do is keep it on its wheels, and he's gonna take home the win. Where is our leader though? Edward Callan coming towards race control now. Going to cross the line and take the win for Edward Callan. Isaac McFadden going to hold on to come home in second. C final four wheel drive. So Callan leads away from Paul from Britain and Talbot. Carnage at turn one. Oh, your race leader's over. Talbot's in from the inside, gets caught. Oh, absolute carnage. Harry Britton going to come out of that one well from the five car of Mark Goodgen. Oh, Mark Thompson, what a move up the inside of Carrick. Oh, Harry Britton's over. One, two, three, four, five, six going to go by. Oh, man. So this is it. Lap one error has been costly. It looks like Matt Thompson all the way from heat one. I believe, up to the lead from six on the grid. And then there is carnage behind, everyone's crashing. And Lee Talbot, you are like, I know it's a five minute race mate, but you are done. Like you need a half hour final at this race. So anyway, leader Matt, Mark Goodgen down the straight, last time by. So it is the sixth car of Matt Thompson leading him round. So race leader is Matt Thompson and William Cannell, Callan, sorry, I am one and two. And Matt Thompson down the straight now, then looks like it's Callan. Race 
Matt flip on the third way. Right. Yeah. right. No, the line can lost in this one. Looks like Matt Thompson has a four second lead over Willing Callum, who has an eight second lead over Charlie Edwards. So this one's not looking great for a bump up battle, but there are a lot of midfield battles. Lee Talbot putting some moves out there. But he's over. As rusty as his real, real, uh, real, real wagon. Six, can't see properly. Marshall six. Oh. Marshall six. Oh. 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 And the lead is seven seconds in, Ward closing in, the gap now five seconds to William Callum with 1.45 on the race clock, 1.45 on the race clock. So William Callum, keep it wheel side down and you will bring home a bump up spot here in the sea final And the same can be said for you Matt Thompson, you've got a huge lead, 26.55, best luck to you Matt. And 27.8 to Callum last time by, let's see what that does for him. Charlie Edwards goes for 26.5, so 1.3 seconds quicker on that lap alone, Charlie. But, dare I say it, with only 1 minute and 16 remaining, Will Callan knows all he needs to do is keep it wheels to the floor, and he's going to bring home a bump-up position. So Callan coming across the line now. This time round for him is going to be a 27.2. So response slightly. Charlie Edwards going to go by 26.52, so another 0.7. But with five seconds that gap and 49 seconds on the race clock, it's not going to be enough. Guys, we're asking just a reminder we do not want bad language. It will result in penalties. Please mind your language on the roster. And the mechanics under the Austin, please mind your language. Yeah, yeah. So Matt Thompson leading from William Callan and there four seconds up the road from Charlie Edwards. So Charlie Edwards throwing everything at it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. You're on your last lap now, Charlie. So William Callan needs to keep this one on its wheels till the end. And he's coming into a second bubble now, goes round the bank corner, number one. Coming into a second bank corner and down the straight, half a lap to go for William Callum. And he will bring home second position and bump up to the B main. So coming around in front of the race control now and crossing the line, William Callum. He finished second. D final two wheel drive. So Martin, Martin Hopkins leads away from Paul from Simon Hudson, Archie Bowman, John Bowman, Chris Wooden. And it looks like it's a two car of Simon Hudson getting the whole shot. So it's 2 1 7. Crossing the line first time round. So remember, guys, you are fighting for the top two to bump up to the C final. The top two bump up in this unique format of racing four from four in qualifiers and then bump up finals a bit of a novelty for tempo off road but always provides entertaining racing so it is two one seven and six two one seven six and eight and we've got the 10 car of scott scully coming from 10th all work for six So Simon Hudson still leads from Martin Hopkins and Gary Plant, but this is a close one. You've got a leader breaking away slightly, then you've got a free horse race for two. But, oh, your pole man's over. Pushed out of the way by Gary Plant, and that is his bump up in jeopardy. So it's now a two horse race, Gary Plant and Kyle Lee, six and seven cars. And 
and they're catching the race lead. Oh, Kyle Lee sends it, comes through like a freight train. I'm going to take the lead with that move, so send it up inside of Gary Plant. Race order after two minutes. Seven, two, six, eight, five, nine, ten, one, four, twelve, eleven, three. So Kyle Lee from the seventh spot up to the two. Simon Hubson still running in second and looks to like have a little bit of a gap back to Chris Woodham, Dean Ross Tinkler and Gary Plant. So it is all about that all important top two. And at the minute that is Kyle Lee and Simon Hubster. So this one is being led by Chris Woodhams now from Kyle Lee and Simon Hudson and there's a battle on track. So let's see as they come across Kyle Lee back to the front. Then you have a two-race battle. So Simon Hudson and Gary Plant battling out for the two spot. They're driving towards the roster now. One minute to go guys, one minute to go. Your race leader is coming onto the straight now. Then you've got second and third going side by side in the bank and down the straight they go. Simon and Gary in the two and six cars. As you cross the line, there's going to be 46 seconds on the race clock for Simon and Gary. Two and six cars coming into the tabletop. They're battling it out to bump up. They hang a left. And left again, driving towards the roster and through the tickets came, dropping to a bomb hole, jump out of it nicely. Looks like the two cars pull the gap and slightly, but Gary Plant through that section is rapid. Down the straight they go, gap between them last time by was just three tenths of a second, looks up the inside, not going to make it stick. 23 seconds to go, you're going to have this lap, this is your final lap, Gary Plant on the inside, makes it stick, all time is over. So Gary Plant breaks for him, Chris Woodhams moves up into a free spot. You guys are on your final lap now. So it's all about the white and blue cars. Running in second comes into a bomb hole. Jumps out of it. Nicely done. You guys are racing to the line. Down the straight. Can Chris Woodham do anything to catch up? He started the lap in third. He's closing, but will it be enough? So here they come. Your race leader, Cal Lee, going to cross the line to take the win. Gary Plant going to come home in second. Chris Woodham's going to come home in third. Just half a second behind. And Simon Hudspur, that crash proving costly. D final two wheel drive, four wheel drive. <laughs> so off and away we go. Stuart Howes leads Lee Tumulty from Polk. So it was the one car of Stuart Howes leading him away and I don't know if he still leads. We'll see as they come round to put one lap on the board. Looks like it's a four car off Callum leading round and it is. So it's four from two from five, twelve and Ash. So Ash Williams and Charlie Saunders making incredible moves up from the length and twelfth into fourth and fifth looking to double bump if they can.
So we have Callum out front in the four car, looking nice and easy, crossing the line. Good lead for him. Lee Tumulty running in a nice two spot. Then we've got Dave Bell. You are third. You need that extra position. Then we've got Charlie Saunders, Kev Lane, Rob Ford, Ash Williams, Paul Hicklin, Harrison Murray, Nigel Fox, Simon Major, and Stuart Howes broke on lap one. The race leader coming down the straight now in the green and pink car. And this is closing up to be a nice battle at the front three. So front three, two pump up spots to take between them. Who's it going to be? Callum crosses the line. Lee crosses the line. Dave crosses the line. Two seconds separating the three of them. Coming into the table top section. Driving away from the rostrum. And they're going to go double left. Drive back towards the bottom. Someone's over. Two spot making an error, but going to get away with it. That gives Callum a little bit more of a lead. So Dave Bell and Lee Tumulty down the straight, almost side by side in turn one. That is your battle for bump up. And looks like the shells come loose on that part, uh, two car. Not going to cause any issues just yet. So coming into the first bomb hole, separation last time by. Seven tenths of a second between the two and five cars. Oh, lead is over. So Callum going to drop into the two spot. Lee Tumulty going to inherit the lead there. So three of them separate by about a second. Coming on to the straight now. It is four, two and five into turn one. This is your one, two and three. Two bump up spots to go between them. And Kev Lane is going to join the battle. Going to make it a four way battle for two bump up spots. One, two seconds separating four cars. Driving away from the rostrum now. It is Lee Tumulty and Callum. Callum, Suwava, Dave Bell and Kev Lane. Oh, Kev Lane's had an error. He's all that hard work to catch up and he's dropped back. And it looks like a third spot's over as well. Can't see who it is. Looks like that was Dave Bell. So that's going to lead a two-horse race out front with one minute and 57 seconds to go. Coming across the line. So Lee Tumulty and Callum Chihuahua, you are separated by 0.8 of a second, but importantly, you have a five second lead over third place. So Dave Bell and Kev Lane, you're battling for third, but that's not enough to book. You need to get your head down and catch up with Callum Chihuahua in front of you. Callum's over, lands on his wheel, the gap. Last time by was five seconds, it is now 2.7. One minute and 15 remaining. At this pace, you are going to close up onto the gearbox of the bump-up spot. So we're at one minute and 10 remaining. Let's look out for that all-important two spot down the straight now. So car on the straight with the bent wing. Be aware, two quick cars behind you. Two quick cars behind you, car 10. Thank you. One more to go, please, when he gets there. Thank you, car 10. Excellent driving. So we now have a four. And Callum runs wide, Dave Bell up to the two spot. So we got a four-way battle for the lead with 44 seconds on the race clock. Your race leader is coming into the main banking now. There goes second and Callum's had an error. So it's going to be Kev Lane up to the three spot. Thank you. So Kev Lane, you need to find about a second to the back of Dave Bell. 29 seconds remaining. You guys are on your final lap now. Kev Lane, you need to find two seconds. Can it be done? Dave Bell, you need to hold on to the end. You guys are on your final lap. So race leader is coming into the banking now and onto the straight. There goes second place. Kev Lane running in third. Half a straight length between them. Half a lap to go. You race leader, uh, you are coming racing to the line. Race time is over. Coming, Kev Lane is closing on Dave Bell. Can he make it stick? No, he can't. Leave Tumulty going to take that one home. A final two wheel drive. So off they go. Christy Brock leads from Paul from Russell Gardner and Neil Ralph Hall. We've got Carnage at the front already. Purple and blue TLR car going to go to the front. Followed by the five car. So it's three and five. Neil Ralph and Ross O'Connell. Oh, absolute carnage at the back of the grid. But it is going to be.
So Neil Ralph leading this one from Ross O'Connell, Richard Cooper, Richard Hunrod, Mark on the line, thank you. So we have Neil Ralph, Ross O'Connell and Richard Cooper is your top three. And Neil and Ross are just separated by nine tenths of a second, but they are running one and two. So they don't need to battle this one out. It's going to be all about Richard Cooper in the free spot and can he catch them? So it looks like three cars are all on the straight together. Let me pick up their numbers this time round and see where they are running. Last time round it was Neil Ralph in the free, but he does not look to be leading on track now. No, it's Ross O'Connell leading on track. Neil Ralph running in second. And Richard Cooper running in the seventh spot. Race order after two minutes. Five. So it is five, three, and seven. And looks like seven's just dropped off this battle for lead a little bit. One point three his gap. So Richard Cooper, orange, green, and white car is being closely followed by Russell Gardner. So not a lot between those. But they don't need to race the third and fourth. They need to get their heads down and catch up to the back of Neil Ralph, who's currently running in second. That is where you need to be to bump up, so down the straight they go, Neil Ralph into the end of the straight now, he is the target for you, Richard Cooper and Russell Gardner, and it looks like Richard Cooper is closing, let's see these lap times as they cross the line, 30.7 from Ralph, and it's a 30.1 from Cooper, but a 29.2 from Gardner, and Gardner's through to the free spot, so Richard Gardner quickest on track last time, by, uh, Russell Gardner, sorry, Quick some track last time by, and he is up into the third spot. He has one minute and 57 seconds to do something about Neil Ralph, to the straight and a half length in front of him. Oh, race leader's over, and he's crashed, so Neil Ralph's going to lead up to the two spot. Russell Gardner, your challenge has just got a couple of seconds easier. So coming across the line now, Ralph leads, Connell is second, and Gardner is third, just 2.3 behind. So can Russell Gardner do anything about Ross O'Connell in front of him? Driving towards the ball, one minute and 30 remaining. Neil Ralph, your new race leader, on the banking, onto the straightaway now. There goes O'Connell, and there goes Gardner, less than a straight length in it, with one minute and 23 remaining. This is your battle for bump up. Coming towards race control now. Oh, Gardner running a little bit wide, going to lose a couple of tenths, but he still looks closer, and he is. 28 tenths, Gardner, race leader over, race leader's over. So Gardner and O'Connell are going to go through. Neil Ralph, the challenge is now on you. One minute and five seconds remaining. Russell Gardner up to the two spot. And he still wants to go for the win. Gap between them is nothing. All three on the straight together. Into turn one, race leader runs wide. Gardner can't get up the inside. So we've got O'Connell, Gardner and Ralph. And in the fourth spot, here comes Paul Kemp. Ralph's over in the middle. Kemp going to go to the three spot. He's looking to double bump. Paul Kemp, you need to find three seconds in the last 37. Three seconds in the last 37. We got Russell Gardner, Ross and O'Connell running two and one. Coming onto the bank corner, they go. O'Connell runs wide, Gardner can't get up the inside, but it's all about Paul Kemp, exactly a straight length behind him with 24 on the race clock. You guys are going to go this lap and one more. Oh, Kemp is over, that's going to cost him a handful of time. So race leaders go by and they're into the tabletop now. Ross O'Connell and Russell Garner, you have a huge lead. Chris Zibok, your pole man now to the free spot, but that's not going to be enough because you guys are racing to the line. Battle for the lead, going down the street now. Our leader's over to Alexa's second spot. They both get away with it, land on the wheels. So you guys going to come around now in front of race control, driving towards the line. Russell Gardner keeping it nice and easy, and they cross the line. <laughs> Russell Connell and Russell Gardner, you have some. Do not bother Russell Connell and Russell Gardner, you have picked up. Four wheel drive, E final. <laughs> So off and away, Ash Williams, Lee from Paulson, Charlie Sanders, Nick Kirkby, Peter Metcalf, Mike Lee, and Malcolm Sykes, Tim Brown, 
Mike Cockle, John Edwards and Jessica Rowe. And new racers are fighting out for bump up to the full drive D final. Oh, Marshall in the middle might leave it over already. That's going to be costly. It's going to be really costly. And he's over again. Stopping all the way down the order. And Leo Morel's laughing at him. Can hear him from here. So what have we got? We are coming up to one lap complete and it's the red and black car going to come across the line first. Looks like it's a two of Charlie Saunders. Yes it is. Then we've got the white and or, uh, yellow car, Ash Williams, and the three of Nick Kirkby. Half a second separating those two. And it looks like it's a three horse battle out front. So what have we got? Race leader is away and clear. Battle's going to be for second spot. The three of these separated by just a straight length. Charlie Saunders in the two car getting a good breakaway. And we've got Ash Williams in the one and Nick Kirkby in the three. So one car, orange and yellow. Then we've got the three car, green and white. These two are going to be battling out for bump up to the full drive D final. We've already seen our first two bumpers of Paul Kemp and Barry Williams. They are up next in the two wheel drive D e final. But on track now, battle for the bump up, coming onto the straight. Half a straight length is your lead, Ash Williams. And nine car, you will have the race leader behind you shortly, but more importantly, second and third coming across the line now. The gap between them is one second exactly. So Ash Williams pulling out four tenths on that lap. Good lap from Ash. Oh, nips over. The Nick Perk Kirkby coming up, uh, coming up short on the tabletop, ending up on his roof. And that's going to gift Ash Williams a good two or three seconds. Come for Barry, but he's over on the start of straight. So Ash Williams having a mistake as well. This is a godsend for Charlie Saunders, who's extending his lead out front. Thank you, blue and white car. Thank you, John Edwards. So now it's a three-way battle for the two spot. Oh, Mike Lever sending it over inside, not making it stick on the curve, but he does there, though. So Mike Lever up to a three spot after starting the first lap in 10th. So he's trying to chase down the one car of Ash Williams. He's next on the road. And that is a battle for bump up. 2.30 down, 2.30 to go. Down the straight they go. Ash Williams, you're leading half a straight length. White and red car, Mike Cockrell, you are next for leaders. And that leader is the orange and yellow car coming across the line now. Then we've got blue and white and green and white. All three of them battling for bump up. Coming into the table to oh, Mike leaders over onto the earth. Oh, Ash Williams gets caught up with the back marker. Oh, lucky for Ash and Mike Levers come out of that best. Go, 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 go. So Ash Williams is one of your leaders out there. He gets caught up in a back marker, but all three now through and coming up to the straight. Mike Lever looking at the inside. Drag race. Oh, Nick Kirkby throwing it down the inside. Makes it stick. Freeway battle for a bump on the spot. Lever now in front. So it's Lever, Williams and Kirkby driving towards race control. Williams up the inside. Makes it stick. Lever comes back at him. Can't make him a move there. 1.32 to go, guys. 1.32 remaining. Freeway battle for the bump on the spot. Coming towards the roster now, into the second ball. Ash Williams has this one in control at the minute. Mike Lever's throwing everything at it. Runs wild on the outside on the banking. Undercut, down the straight they go. Side by side in turn one. Ash Williams going to hold on to live another day. One minute and ten seconds remaining. This is your battle for bump up. Coming across the line now. Lever up inside. Doesn't make it stick. Gets away. We're going to lose half a second. Marshall in the middle. Marshall in the middle. Oh, Mike Lever's over. Oh, Ash Williams going to get a break there. It's going to be three, four seconds. And he's got it comfortable now with 50 seconds remaining. Can he hold this one to the end? Oh, Ash Williams is over. Mike Lever's over. Oh, Mike Lever's gifting this one to Ash Williams. So 40 seconds remaining. Ash Williams has a straight length lead over that third place man, so he's looking good for bump up. Oh, Mike Lee was over again, he's going to lose a free spot to Nick Kirkby. So Ash Williams just got to keep it rubber side down. You've got this lap and one more, maybe. So Ash Williams coming into the bomb hole and round the bank, banking number one drops down 180. Oh, he's over. He's on his wheel. Can he get away? Yes, he has. No, he's not. Oh, Ash Williams. Throwing this one away, 10 seconds remaining, down the straight he goes. You are going to be racing to the line, Ash Williams. You're going to bump up as it stands, coming across the line. You are into finishing time. Ash Williams going to take home second and bump up to the D-final.
Nick Kirkby going to come home in third. Might leave it in fourth. But it... F final, two wheel drive. Car 10 is missing, car 5 is missing, car 4 is missing, car 7 is missing, car 3 is missing, car 9 is missing, car 6 is missing. Race all around for four minutes. Eight, so nine, ten, two, ten, two seven, four, six, five, seven, five, seven, six, eight, 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 Final lap. These two races, both put Barry Williams round the outside, not going to make it stick. 
Orange and blue car, please be aware, three race leaders, thank you very much. Barry Williams got half a lap, can he make a move? Come on, the next time, what's the good side? Round the outside, so there you go, about four, 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 four,